Welcome to Year Around the Peninsula. I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant Braden Anderson. Not all ceremonies have to be like the rest. Army Sergeant Ryan Sharp takes us to one that is like none other. As their rotational deployment to the Republic of Korea draws to an end, 30 soldiers and officers of the 117th Cavalry Regiment from Fort Bragg take flight for an unusual event. After boarding a CH-47 Chinook, they depart USAG Humphreys for a mass reenlistment ceremony high atop Pinnacle 4. We got in a Chinook and went to the top of a mountain and, and got to reenlist, which made the uh, experience a lot more memorable. Uh, I wish my family would have been here, but you know that was pretty much the next best thing. That, uh, in the uniform code, military it, it was unique. It's, it's going to be something that, that they remember. It's not just a normal reenlistment where you, know, you, you do stand out in front of the headquarters or something along those lines. They're up on top of the world. Uh, able to be re-enlisted by, uh, by the officers that they chose. Uh, it, it's something that they're truly going to be able to remember uh, as their career continues to progress. Re-enlistment ceremonies like this are just some of the options that are available when looking to continue your Army career. Army Sergeant Ryan Sharp, Pyeongtaek, Korea. For more re-enlistment options, contact your unit career counselor. Are you looking for a martial art that your kids can learn while in Korea? Follow Army Sergeant Ricky Perez as he introduces the sword-based Korean martial art. Children from the Camp Humphreys community practice their sword strokes and battle cries during a Haedong Gumdo class. The Post Child Youth and School Services program offers an opportunity for kids on base to learn the Korean sword art. Heidang Gamdo is the martial arts of the ancient Goguryeo kingdom. Master Sir Bong established a dojang in the Bakdu Mountains and taught a martial arts based on the ideas of patriotism, filial piety, respecting the elders, and righteousness. During the class, students concentrate on each move to properly balance their body while swinging the sword. The sword art helps the students control their minds as well as their bodies through physical training and intense focus. The class also teaches students to perform various cutting techniques with their swords. We have grown up well and developed strong concentration by practicing Haedong Gamdo. The Haedong Gamdo class provides children in the community with something besides Taekwondo when it comes to Korean martial arts. Army Sergeant Ricky Perez, Camp Humphreys, Korea. A Haedong Gomdo class is offered by Humphrey CYSS every Tuesday and Thursday at the Zeckler Fitness Center. In the center of Seoul, there remains a historical site that still tells time to people of Korea. Army Sergeant Matt Cromer rings in the afternoon with this visit. We traveled here today to Boshengok, the Bell of Seoul, and today we're heading up because I've been invited to ring. The bell is located on the second floor of the two-story structure, and the first floor is patrolled by the Royal Guards. At noon, the bell is rung by participants with the assistance from the guards. I rang the bell 12 times, informing people of Seoul that it is noon. The original bell was placed in Seoul in 1398, and over the centuries it has gone through multiple wars and fires. Historically, the bell was struck to announce the opening and closing of the four gates around Seoul. Presently, the bell is rung 33 times at midnight on New Year's Eve to announce the new year. Army Sergeant Matt Cromer, Seoul, Korea. Foreigners can visit on Tuesdays for a chance to ring the bell. Living in a foreign land doesn't mean you can't be part of the community. Katusa Corporal Lee Jin Woo shows us one volunteer who has been serving as the face for Camp Humphreys with a little coffee talk. Miss Kristen Taylor is a volunteer teacher for the English Talk Cafe, an English conversational class hosted by the Pyeongtaek International Exchange Foundation. When I first got here, my husband had had interaction with um, some of the uh, staff here at PEEF and they had let him know about the opportunity and asked if I would be interested in volunteering. And so I just started coming really as soon as I got here, um, and it's been a great experience. Kristen has been volunteering for the English Talk Cafe since she and her husband, Colonel William Taylor, came to Korea. She confesses that the class is more of a learning experience than a teaching one. They like to practice and they like to learn, um, you know, phrases and make their English more um, appropriate to what we would really say instead of maybe what they learned in English class growing up. I actually have learned probably more than they have because I've learned so much about the Korean culture as I've interacted with them 
as they're practicing their English skills. Kristen has been happily contributing to the Pyeongtaek community for the past year and a half. Atusa Corporal Lee Jin Woo, Kim Humphreys, Korea. Pyeongtaek International Exchange Foundation always welcomes volunteers who can help with their English classes. Staying fit throughout the year can be a struggle, but with the help of certified trainers, even the busiest moms can find time to work out. Katusa Private First Class Lee Dae Ho gives us a sneak peek at one of those programs. As we continue moving through 2017, sticking with our New Year's resolutions may be difficult. That is why a group of Army spouses are joining together to stay on track at the Super Gym on USAG Humphreys for the New Year New You program. The whole program is the New Year, New You Passport program. In order for us to keep people excited and engaged in March and maintaining their New Year's resolutions or moving towards that, we are trying to offer different types of programs and incentives for people to keep going. I think a lot of it is you just have to be self-motivated and you have to try and find new things to keep you interested. I know it's like really hard because people have jobs and families and everything, but and it's just kind of a matter of setting time to do it and then just getting it done. The great thing about this program is that it is also family friendly. It's more fun being able to work out when you're able to bring your baby and then like have other people. Like it's really hard to do it at home or find a sitter. So it's nice being able to do both, right? I can make sure he's there with me and having fun and then I can get my workout in too. So it's nice. What we're doing is really encouraging people to come to all of the fitness classes and try out new classes and new workouts to keep them engaged and excited for the new year. Katusa Private First Class Lee Dae Ho, USAG Humphreys, Korea. The follow-up program is going to continue on later this month. For more information, contact the Humphreys Fitness Annex. That was your Around the Peninsula for this week. To see these stories and others, go to the AFN Pacific website or view them through the AFN Pacific app. From all of us at AFN, enjoy your evening. My name is One Officer One Tyron Green, and I work at 2nd Infantry Division, Sustainment Brigade S6. Uh, well, I came in at two, in 2002, so I a little over 14 years of uh, military experience. Um, I was the E725 Bravo uh, when I crossed over. Sustainment is, is really important in the infantry division because we have to provide sustainability in order for the warfighter to continue their mission. So we need everybody in the fight because it takes everybody to help sustain the mission. My grandfather served in the Air Force it was in World War II. And my uncle, uh, he was a part of the K-9 unit. Um, the example they set for me is um, Whatever you do wholeheartedly. Uh, being a part of the 2nd Infantry Division, at a t as it turns 100 years old, um, it inspires me just because it, it makes me feel like I'm, I'll be a part of the, uh, the legacy and the history for the 2nd Infantry Division. What the hell's going on here? James. 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 Listen, I'm gonna get you the help you need, okay? <laughs> <laughs> 